besties, welcome back to the channel. Let's dive into Heartstopper Season 3 because, wow, it was an emotional roller coaster from start to finish. I just wrapped up watching, and I have to say, it definitely lived up to my expectations. I was in tears during the first few episodes, and if you're wondering how it ended, Charlie and Nick are still in a good place, but they left us with a cliffhanger that will definitely carry into the next season. Before we get into that, let's do a quick recap of the whole season. The season kicks off with Charlie under a lot of stress, unable to eat. Nick notices and tries to support him through it. At one point, Nick gently suggests Charlie might have an eating disorder. I think you have an eating disorder. Which Charlie initially denies. But after doing some research, Charlie admits to himself that it's true. One of the season's sweetest moments, and one of my faves, is when Charlie finally overcomes his fears and tells Nick he loves him. Nick says it back, and they share such a beautiful moment together. As the season progresses, Charlie's eating disorder worsens, and he starts having arguments with his mom, which adds even more stress. Nick and Tori are there for him, trying to help, but things get complicated. Nick eventually visits his aunt, who is a therapist, and confides in her about Charlie's struggles. She gives Nick some great advice on how to help Charlie, encouraging him to get professional help or talk to his parents, which Nick does when he gets home. I, I don't know how to fix him. Maybe you can't. I have to be. I'm, I'm his boyfriend. I know, and I know that you love him so, so much. And I, I know that you think it's your job to save him. He needs help from a doctor or a therapist, someone that understands eating disorders and knows how to treat them. Love can't cure a mental illness. Charlie eventually opens up to his parents, with Nick's support, and things go well. He starts seeing a therapist and is admitted to the hospital for two months, where he's diagnosed with an eating disorder and OCD. When he improves, he's discharged and reunited with Nick, his friends, and family. As Charlie gets better, their relationship deepens, and they explore intimacy. But Charlie starts to feel insecure about his body. He struggles with dysmorphia and always wears baggy clothes. He's uncomfortable when Nick touches him. But over time, with his therapist's help, Charlie becomes more confident. Meanwhile, Nick starts losing himself while trying to be there for Charlie. His friends notice that Nick is putting Charlie before everything, even when it comes to his future. You have to put yourself first right now. Nick is thinking about going to universities he doesn't really love, just to stay close to Charlie. His friends encourage him to choose Leeds, which he seems to like more, and to put himself first. Nick finally confesses that he's found his purpose in Charlie and doesn't know who he is without him. His friends push him to go to Leeds to figure out his own identity, and that's where the cliffhanger comes in. Will Nick choose himself and Leeds, or stay close to Charlie? But since Charlie has already realized that he doesn't need to depend on Nick to be happy, I think he'll support Nick's choice. They'll probably have a long-distance relationship, and maybe Charlie will join him in Leeds the following year. As for the other relationships, Imogen and Sahar decide to stay friends, even though Imogen realized she's gay. Ella and Tao are still together, and they're planning a long-distance relationship as Ella considers going to school in Europe. Tara and Darcy are still going strong, while Isaac is still single. Tori is seeing Michael, though she's not keen on putting a label on their relationship. Let me know what you thought of this season and what you think will happen next. Will Nick choose leads? How do you feel about Charlie's growth? Drop your thoughts in the comments.